Thank you. President, please be seated. Ong Jumlah Jumlah Kah Mento Kajumlakan Nanti Kota Maka Back in session and the floor is given to the defense team for Mr. Nguyen Chi to resume his line of questioning. Thank you, Mr. President. Good honor. Good afternoon, Your Honors. Mr. President, with your leave, I would again make another like to make another attempt with showing. Um, the video to the witness, but this time with sound. It is indeed E3 slash 3049R. It's the first um, two minutes and six seconds of um, the video. Um, I'm looking at the translation boot. Um, the female voice starts speaking at second uh, 42. Um, so hopefully we will be able to get an English and French translation. Uh, and a specific request, Mr. President, to the EAV booth to put uh, the volume on maximum. Service audiovisuel. Please uh, project the uh, video footage as requested Veuillez by the defense team for Mr. Nguyen. a été demandé par l'équipe de défense. And it was in independence, territorial integrity, and democracy. And what is significant was in the rural areas. The democratic Cambodia has changed uh, dramatically. The rural area, which was one, the land was very fertile, but in the last five years, it was destroyed by the imperialist uh, U.S. And as we are aware now, the situation has uh, changed rapidly in all fields. And we could see the wise areas of fields and there was uh, irrigation systems everywhere. There were dams, reservoirs in those rural areas. Not from interpreter, the, the voice was not, uh, it's not clear enough for interpretation. Les interprètes informent que le niveau de volume et la qualité du son um, ne sont pas suffisants. Thank you, Mr. President. This was indeed my last attempt. Um, Madam Witness, Maître you've now Peuple. again uh, seen the footage and also with um, Témo, the female command voice. Um, I'm interested in the footage at the beginning when you saw workers carrying dirt um, and soil. Um, was there anything that you saw which on the footage which was unusual or which was not in accordance with how the work really was? Did, did you get my question, Madam Witness? Witness, I could not hear you. Um, I'll, I'll 
ask my question again. You just saw. Um, oh. I mean, perhaps uh, there is uh, the uh, gadget runs out of battery. Can you hear me? Um, uh, Madam Witness, good afternoon again. You saw um, the same footage again, this time with sound. Um, I'm interested especially in the beginning of the video when you see people, workers carrying uh, soil. Um, did you see anything on that video which was um, not in accordance with what the practice of work really was? Answer. I uh, did not uh, see anything. So what you saw um, reflected the work that you and your co-workers did. Is that correct? Answer. Yes, that is correct. It was the hot battlefield. We had to run while carrying earth. Do you remember when um, leaders of the upper echelon came to visit uh, and that one of those leaders um, also uh, was carrying soil for a while to do exactly what the workers were doing as well. Où l'un d'entre eux a lui aussi transporté la terre pour faire la même chose que ce que faisaient les ouvriers. Chiefs, they were walking and uh, watching all of us. Travailler et nous surveiller tous. I will be more concrete in my question. Um, do you know whether at one point in time Paul Pot uh, came to visit the site uh, while the workers were working and was uh, and joined the, the workers in carrying dirt? In other words, uh, at one point in time Paul Pot um, was carrying dirt for a while himself. And so I have uh, never Réponse. seen that. Je ne pas vu, I uh, saw uh, those people came uh, to attend the rallies, but uh, not to carry the. Um, yesterday, you spoke about uh, a high-ranking Chinese leader who came um, to visit. Um, it was uh, Chen Yong Kui. Chen Yong Gui, um, that was the name that you mentioned yesterday. Do you remember um, workers uh, welcoming, welcoming uh, this Chinese leader and shouting uh, hooray Chen Yong Gui? Answer. When uh, those people attended uh, rallies, uh, we were instructed to shout hooray, as stated. And if we heard the announcement that uh, the person was Cheng Yongkui, we would uh, give a round of an applause. Do you remember whether uh, at the time you and your uh, co workers? were told si, who he was and why he came to visit. Answer, I do not know about the visits. I heard the announcement that uh, the delegate was 
Cheng Yong Kui. Okay, thank you very much, Madam Witness. Now I have a few very short uh, follow-up questions in relation to questions I asked this morning. Um, we, uh, this morning we spoke briefly um, about Tan Yim. Um, and um, his disciplinary actions against um, one of two of your co-workers. In your statement to the investigators, you also mentioned um, a unit chief, a woman who uh, later committed suicide, May. Can you tell us what the hierarchical relation was between the two? Was Niem the boss of May or the other way around? Qui était le supérieur hiérarchique de qui Answer. The person was the chief of my mobile unit, and as for Tanyam, he was the chief of the cooperative. And as the for the lady. She was uh, my chief of the uh, mobile unit. I was never put in the cooperative, and sometimes um, my uh, special mobile unit uh, was assigned to go and work in the cooperative. So it was May who was in charge Ainsi, of you and your group de vous um, et de votre in terms of uh, quota, etc. Is that correct? Des quotas, etc. Yeah. Answer. Oui. Yes, that is correct. Was it then um, May who disciplined Tree or Lip, or was it still Tan Yim who disciplined them? Uh, together, I have no information in detail concerning uh, this uh, matter. I did not know their work uh, approach in relation to what you have just described. Tanyim, was he often at the, the 1st January dam work site, or um, did he also stay? quite a bit of time uh, at the village itself. Est-il resté longuement ou demeurait-il longuement au village à proprement parler? And uh, he was in the village, he was the chief of cooperative. He he never went along with the special mobile unit. He was in charge of the cooperative and supervised his cooperative in the village. So then my question is again, question. Um, do you know who Ainsi it then was propose, uh, la question concretely um, who disciplined uh, your two colleagues, Tree and Lip? Savez-vous quelle est la personne qui a pris des mesures à l'encontre de vos deux collègues, Tree et Nip? I do not know who took uh, the two colleagues for uh, torturing. I, I do not know who arrested them. A few of us uh, went to relieve ourselves and we saw them 
And as I said, I do not know who arrested them and took them there. We had to go to work. If uh, they found that uh, we did not go to work, uh, we would be in danger. Quelqu'un se rendait compte que nous ne travaillions pas, alors nous courions un grand danger. I will move on to um, one last follow-up question uh, in relation to illnesses at work. Um, if I understand. If I understood you correctly, uh, you agreed with um, your colleague um, that nobody in your unit was left to die because of sickness um, at the dam work site. In fact, nobody died. However, yesterday you also said um, that you know of many instances that people uh, died from dys dysentery. Um, if people didn't die at the work site but died of dysentery, what is your source of knowledge of this? How do you know that people died of dysentery? Comment avez-vous appris que les personnes étaient mortes de dysentery ou de diarrhée? I knew it while I was working. The unit chief would tell that this particular individual died of dysentery because uh, he could not be cured in time. I uh, had no relation with the medic. My unit chief uh, told me about this, and I relay this message uh, further about uh, the matter. Uh, thank you for that answer, Madam Witness. Uh, now, um, I, I need to ask you a few uh, questions in relation to um, the, the, the Bogoda and Barai Chandel that you spoke Au about yesterday. Um, I understand hier, from your testimony to the investigators that you uh, never visited the pagoda. Que vous um, ne vous êtes rendu en does that mean that you also, pagode? at the time, was never inside the premises of this pagoda? You were never inside the walls of this pagoda during the DK period? de cette pagode pendant la, pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique. Yeah. Answer, yes, that Réponse. is true. As oui, a exact. normal or ordinary person, I was not en allowed to go inside. Normal, it was a secret place. If I happened to go into that place, secrète. I would be killed. Si si dans dans droit, été exécuté. As an ordinary citizen, I could not go into that place. Yesterday you spoke um, about music coming from a loudspeaker uh, from somewhere inside the pagoda. Um, how would you know, or how did you know, uh, that the music coming from a loudspeaker had potentially anything to do with uh, killings inside of the pagoda. Is that something that you heard then or is the phenomenon of loudspeakers being played something that you heard after 1979? In the period when the music was played over the loudspeakers, there would be killings. I uh, was back from my work on, uh, the, on day 10 that we were allowed to Moi, je take a rest. And when I was walking and uh, reached the lake, I encountered uh, two soldiers lac, who were armed, and I was threatened that why uh, I was here, uh, and I was asked whether I uh, want to die. I was very afraid at that time, and I ran away to the other side of the lake. Um, I understand what you're saying, but we have just established that you have never been La inside bien um, the premises of this pagoda. Mais vous venez de nous dire, et nous venons d'établir que vous n'êtes jamais rentré à l'intérieur de cette pagode. Ainsi se pose à nouveau la question, comment pouvez-vous savoir 
of music from loudspeakers in relation to any killings. That is something that I would like to know from you. Et le fait qu'il y avait des exécutions. D'où tenez-vous cette information? Answer. I, I heard people, people talking from one another. J'ai entendu les gens parler les uns aux autres. And is that something that you heard when people were talking to one another after 1979? Et était-ce après 1979 ou avant 1979? Uh, I know that when the music was played over loudspeakers, uh, people would be brought into that place and everyone uh, whispers uh, to one another. As a base person, uh, we could ask the unit chief or village chief about what happened after People had been brought into the place, they would disappear. They never returned. Um, thank you, Madam Witness. Um, few very last questions. Um, do you know to whom um, Danyem himself reported? Um, about the work at the dam site. Taniem, of course, also had a superior. Do you know to whom he reported? Answer. I do not know who was Taniem superior. I uh, was assigned to work in at the work site. I do not know about his superior. And do you know to whom Me, uh, the female unit chief that we spoke about just now, to whom she reported about work at the dam site? Answer. Réponse. If uh, we were not, if actually, if uh, this person uh, was not satisfied with our work, si uh, uh, this individual travail, would report on us to the cooperative, and the cooperative, uh, after that, uh, after receiving the sujet. report, uh, would not uh, give the food uh, supplies to us to eat. De nous en but do you know a concrete name of a person Maître to whom May, your unit chief, reported? Answer, I do not know, je as I said, Comme je dit. as far as I am concerned, I do not know. I was uh, working Alors, concerne, in the, Moi, at the work site, and if uh, we could see uh, people uh, return after they were arrested and brought away, they would survive. Si les gens après avoir été et emmenés, alors ils a question um, about somebody else. At the work site, the dam work site, do you know a man called Um Chi, who was chief of the mobile unit? Un homme qui était chef unité mobile. Answer, I do not know this indi individual. I do not know the name Um Chi. You, on multiple occasions, referred to the 1st January Dam uh, site as um, a hot battlefield. Um, you also spoke yesterday about the 6th January Dam. Um, do you know if this, uh, why the 6th January Dam was not a hot battlefield such, uh, like the uh, January 1st Dam?
Answer. The 6th January dam, as I said, was not the hot battlefield. Workers were not required to work at night. Workers were allowed to rest at night. As I said earlier, at the 1st January dam, we had to work day and night. We could take a rest after we heard the bell ringing, but we had to walk, uh, and we we had to walk, uh, you know, far distant from uh, the place where we were to the dining hall. And after we heard the uh, second bell ringing, the bell ringing for the second time, we would uh, return back to work. I understand your question. My, my question was: Do you know why the 6th January dam was not? Um, seen or considered to be a hot battlefield. Why the difference between the two dams? Do you know? Answer. At the 6th January dam, workers were not allowed to work at night, so I could say that uh, it was not a hot battlefield. We could uh, have enough sleep at night, and have and we had energy to work uh, the day after. As for the 1st January dam, it was the hot battlefield. If we could not complete the work uh, during the daytime, we had to uh, get it uh, finished uh, at night. I, I, un I understand the differences. Um, and thank you for your answer. But, but do you know the specific reason why the upper echelon decided to consider the 6th January dam not a hot battlefield? Answer. I do not know because I uh, was not a high-ranking uh, person. Um, thank you very much um, for your patient answers, Madam Witness. Looking at my national colleague, if he has questions. Uh, yes, Mr. President, he does. Mon confrère a des questions. Ce qui est le cas, Monsieur le Président. Council. Thank you, Mr. President, Your Madame, Honours, merci, Monsieur le Président. everyone in Madame and around the courtroom. Good juges. afternoon, Madam Witness. I am Liu Sawana. I am one of the defense. I am uh, the national one of the national council for Mr. Nguyen Chia. You stated that Matt was your unit chief. Was uh, she in Khmer National or was uh, she of a different nation? Answer, she is Khmer. Question. Question. Before the lunch break, Avant la pause déjeuner, you said vous avez dit you saw soldiers que vous aviez vu des soldats instructed the workers who rested in the forest to return to work. À qui what about you? Were you ever instructed to return to work when you rested in the forest? Déjà demandé de retourner and au sir, travail quand vous avez yeah, we spent uh, rather uh, more time si in the temps forest, then we would be chased forêt, to return to work. Alors, on nous demandait de revenir au travail. Question, and how many times were you incited to return to work during the period that you worked at that work site? Answer, it was about four to ten times because I was fatigued, so I pretended to spend more time in the forest. Then they signaled me uh, to return to the work site, and I didn't have to wait for them to shout at me, and I myself returned to the work site. 
question. Question. Also, before the lunch break, you said Toujours for those who finished the daily quota could rest before the end of the working time. De, de avant and la fin de la uh, through de your travail. observation, were there many workers in your group who could complete the work quota earlier? Dire que beaucoup de travailleurs arrivaient à atteindre le quota avant l'heure prévue. Answer yes. There were several oui, because we were assigned a cubic meter each and we tried uh, to finish it on time so we could go and have our meal. It uh, depends on the day. Sometimes I could finish jours, earlier parfois, and sometimes I could not. Plus tôt, so I would uh, continue to finish it Alors after the meal time. And what I was what I talk about is what happened within my special Et mobile unit. Ce qui se au sein de mon unité Question. Question. You said that uh, you could not work during the rainy season or when it was raining. What happened when it was raining? What were you assigned to do? Que se passait-il lorsqu'il pleuvait? Que deviez-vous faire? Answer. When it rained and when we could not carry the earth up the embankment, we were allowed to rest. Because of the rain, the uphill to the embankment was slippery, so we could rest a little bit. Question. Did you hear any instruction Question. from anyone that you had to be Des careful vous dit de when faire attention doing your work, for example, try to avoid any uh, soil collapse? Les personnes vous ont-elles dit, par exemple, d'éviter qu'il n'y ait des glissements de terrain? Answer: Yes, we Réponse. were so instructed. Oui. For instance, uh, not to take a shelter when it was raining near the area where a hole was made at the best of the embankment. Question. And who actually Question. gave such instruction or not Et allowed you to stay under that area? President, Madame Witness, please uh, observe the microphone. Madame le témoin, veuillez faire attention au microphone, s'il vous plaît. Witness, it was the chief of the special mobile unit who instructed us not to take a shelter under that solo part of the uh, lower part of the embankment in order to avoid the risk of uh, being crashed by soil collapse. Question. Through your observation, were toilets built for other units? Des toilettes ont-elles été mises en place pour les autres unités? Answer: Yes. Réponse. They made toilets, oui. but because of the many numbers of workers, the three toilets could not um, accommodate them all, so they had to relieve themselves in the forest. Il fallait que tout le monde puisse aller se soulager dans la forêt. Question. You said that there were many flies Question. at the airport site. Did you ever observe uh, pesticide vestures uh, to kill flies? Que l'on utilisait des pesticides pour tuer ces mouches. And said yes, but there were still many flies. Réponse. Oui, mais il y avait encore beaucoup de mouches. Many. There were many, many flies, and uh, not of them, not all of them. Could be killed by the pesticide spray. We had to use our hand to chase away the flies while we were eating. Question. Did pesticide spray happen often? 
Les pesticides étaient-ils pulvérisés, utilisés fréquemment Answer, no. It was Réponse, not that often. non, pas très fréquemment. And I did not know those people who actually spray the pesticide at the work site. So when they sprayed the pesticide, the fly, flies died, but it was several months later when they resumed doing the pesticide again. Question. Question. In your unit, Question. was any uh, worker died? Unité, Did anyone died from illness? Morts de Answer: No, there was none. Réponse, non. Some people got sick, then they got Certaines some tablets, and they recovered. Et elles se sont Question. You also Question. said that you were allowed to rest every tenth vous day, avez dit and vous from vous your observation, did workers go to catch crab or to go vous, fishing vous avez vu, during the rest time on that day? Leur jour de repos? No, nobody Réponse, went non. anywhere. Non, personne nulle part. Every Tenth day after we ate the dessert, jours, then we rested and we chatted uh, with our work colleagues in the sleeping quarter. Dans les Sometimes we were singing or dancing. Parfois, it was a, a happy day, une which happened once every tenth heureuse. day. Une journée qui avait lieu uniquement tous les dix jours. Question. Were you prohibited from going Question. to find fish or crab during the uh, that day? Vous interdisait-on d'aller pêcher des poissons ou attraper des crabes ce jour-là? Answer: No, we were not Réponse. prohibited from going, non. but because Cela we were fatigued, we resorted to resting at the sleeping quarter. Nous reposer dans les dortoirs. Question. Through your Question. observation, ce que vous did avez you vu, notice that monks, all monks, had been disrobed before 17 April 1975? Or was it after that? Have you noticed that all monks had been disrobed before 17 April 1975? Or was it after that? I did not think about that. However, I knew no monk was, around, uh, was allowed to stay at the pagoda. All monks had to disrobe, although I cannot recall the exact year when it happened. Question. This morning, you said that Ce matin, Any charm person who practices his or her religion will be taken away and killed. Did you notice any charm was taken away and killed because of practicing his or her religion? religion pour avoir pratiqué leur religion. Answer: so It did not happen in my uh, village, as non, the Cham people were instructed not to practice their religion. De ne pas leur religion. And if they were to to violate that instruction, then they would be taken away and et killed. Ils But they followed the instruction. Et uh, nothing happened to them. And they were also instructed to eat the pork. On leur a demandé également de manger du porc. And they not dare to go against Et en général, any instructions given to them. S'opposer aux consignes qui leur étaient données. Question. Am I correct to say that you never Question. saw any uh, charm person being killed from practicing his or her religion? Pour avoir pratiqué sa religion. 
Mr. President, I don't have any uh, more questions. Monsieur thank you. Je plus de President, thank you. Président, merci. The Chamber would like now to hand the floor to Kyosan Pan's defense uh, to put questions to the witness. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Bonjour, Madame le témoin. Je m'appelle Antagissé. Je suis co-avocat international de M. Kiosampo. Et je vais uh, vous poser quelques questions complémentaires sur uh, la déposition que vous avez um, faite ces deux derniers jours. Vous avez uh, évoqué uh, avec uh, les coprocureurs et ensuite uh, avec uh, mes confrères de l'équipe de Nunchia le travail de votre unité en expliquant que c'était une unité spéciale. En parlant de cette unité, vous avez expliqué que de votre village, il y avait 50 personnes et qu'ensuite, il y avait des sous-groupes de 12 personnes. Ma question est la suivante. Quelle était l'unité spéciale Est-ce que c'était l'unité de votre groupe de 12 personnes ou c'était les 50 personnes qui constituaient l'unité spéciale There were 50 workers in the unit, and 12 workers belongs to a group which was, a sub, which was under the main 50-person unit. As the 50-person unit was subdivided into a smaller group, and each group consisted of 12 workers. J'ai bien compris la répartition. Je vous remercie de l'avoir reprécisé. Et ma question est de savoir, est-ce que c'était le groupe de 50 personnes qui constituait l'unité spéciale ou est-ce que au sein des 50 personnes, il y avait des unités spéciales et des unités ordinaires We were all part of the special group. Nous faisions tous partie d'un groupe spécial. Et j'ai compris, et est-ce que euh, j'ai bien compris votre déposition, que cette unité spéciale avait euh, une ration alimentaire spéciale. C'est bien ça. The same food ration applied to non, everyone across the board. However, when we were in the special mobile Néanmoins, unit, the food ration was a bit more spéciale, than the people staying in the village. village. D'accord. Donc, en fait, quand vous parlez de euh, rations alimentaires différentes, vous faites la différence entre ceux qui travaillent sur le barrage et ceux qui restent au village. C'est bien ça. Much about the uh, condition at the uh, village. Mais je ne savais pas trop ce qu'il en était des We were dans given the same food ration, and I don't know, Donc maybe some people could not eat uh, their fill, but for me it was uh, merely sufficient. Faim, pour moi Although suffisant. sometimes I had to supplement my diet with uh, some tree leaves mixed with salt. Par exemple, des feuilles d'arbres mélangées avec du sel. Vous avez indiqué que euh, sur le site du euh, barrage du 1er janvier, il y avait euh, des gens euh, venant des villages de toute la commune. Est-ce que euh, vous, vous, vous avez indiqué, pardon, tout à l'heure également, répondant à mon confrère, je pense que vous n'aviez pas eu l'occasion de discuter avec euh, les gens euh, d'autres villages, que vous n'aviez pas le temps et que vous vous concentriez sur votre travail. Ma question maintenant est la suivante. Est-ce que vous avez discuté déjà ou est-ce que vous avez reçu des ordres de personnes, de responsables d'autres unités que la vôtre 
officials of other units other than yours? No. No. We only receive instructions from our respective uh, unit chief, and we ate our food uh, for, for our village, from our village, and so we had to work for our village uh, and not for another village. village. Dans ces conditions, est-il exact de dire que vous ne savez pas comment cela se passait dans les unités qui avaient des chefs, des chefs d'autres villages, que vous ne saviez que ce qui se passait au sein de votre unité oui. I only knew uh, what happened within the, my unit and I did not know about the conditions in other unité. units. Je ne connaissais pas les conditions qui régnaient dans d'autres unités. Although or even if I had to work in a village, I would not know about the conditions of Même other si people in other village, units or belong to other villages as we were not allowed to work uh, mixed with other people from other units or villages. Est-ce que pendant la période euh, au cours de laquelle vous avez travaillé sur le site euh, du 1er janvier, vous avez euh, eu l'occasion de vous rendre pendant l'un de, de vos jours de repos dans votre village d'origine Yes, I did. Oui, je l'ai fait. Uh, J'ai présenté ma demande au chef de mon unité. Je ne pouvais pas me rendre à mon village d'origine. J'ai pu y aller une demi-journée, par exemple. Parfois, ma mère me manquait une demi-journée. J'ai demandé à y passer la nuit. Et je devais revenir à l'heure du matin. Parfois, j'étais un petit peu en retard. Mais mon chef d'unité me critiquait alors. Et est-ce qu'il est exact de dire que vous ne vous êtes rendu And dans aucun des autres villages de la commune de Balang pendant cette période Yes, that is correct. I oui, did not dare go to other villages. Je ne sais pas me rendre dans d'autres villages. I would villages. only go to my own village or worked in my own village, and I did not have any right to go to other villages. Je travaillais pour mon village. Je n'avais pas le droit d'aller dans d'autres villages. Au cours de votre déposition hier, vous avez évoquer des réunions qui se sont tenues sur le site du barrage et je voudrais savoir si ces réunions étaient des réunions uniquement de votre unité ou est-ce qu'il y avait d'autres unités qui étaient rassemblées à ce moment-là Where all of us were gathered to attend. Qui nous réunissait tous. Of course, we uh, we were allowed to stop the working Bien during entendu, that period. And de at the conclusion of the meeting, all the workers réunion, had to return or had to resume their working again. Est-ce que au cours hein, d'une de ces réunions, on vous a expliquer euh, pourquoi on construisait ce barrage à cet endroit-là. I do not know about it, or maybe I cannot recall it. That as there were many speeches during the meetings, and we were there attending the meeting and listening to the speeches, but I seem to not recall the purpose of building the dam. Que l'on nous expliquait pour quelle raison ce barrage était construit. Est-ce que après la 
fin de ce barrage, vous avez euh, travaillé euh, dans la riziculture. Quand la construction du dam a été complétée, avez-vous fait du travail dans le secteur agricole Quand le projet de dam a été conclué, j'ai été assigné à travailler à la construction du 6e dam de construction de la ville. Je n'ai pas été assigné à faire du rice dans le village de la ville, mais à travailler à la construction du barrage du 6e dam de construction de la ville. J'ai été assigné à travailler sur le chantier du barrage du 6 janvier. Et avant de travailler sur ce barrage, est-ce que vous avez travaillé dans la riziculture Before you started working at the second dam work site, did you work anywhere as a farmer Yes, I did. I engaged in rice oui. transplantation. I was assigned uh, to do the uh, plantation. Of course, I was never idle for any moment. We had to work before the food was given to us. It's not like what is happening now. Like now, children or young adults do not have to work. But during the time, everyone had to work in order to earn food. And we were allowed only to meet our parents every 10th day. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez, avant de travailler sur le barrage, um, d'une période de sécheresse, dans la, de sécheresse dans la région I only experienced the uh, rainy season, and sometimes, even during the dry season, we Tout had to engage in the dry season pluies, rice farming. Sèche, we were never allowed not to engage in any work, and there was always work for us. Il y avait du pour nous. Ma question était différente, mais si vous n'en souvenez pas, il n'y a pas de souci. Euh, je vous dis ça parce que nous avons un témoin euh, qui est venu précédemment, euh, le témoin euh, Ao que vous avez dit connaître, qui était euh, chef de village à euh, Trengpeng Tre. Euh, je précise que c'est euh, le village numéro 8 sur la liste que j'ai euh, fait circuler l'intention des interprètes pour éviter les problèmes de prononciation et qui a indiqué qu'en 1976, il y avait eu une forte sécheresse. Vous ne vous en souvenez plus Je ne m'en souviens pas. Pas de problème, je vais revenir un petit moment sur... No problem. L'organisation euh, like des unités sur euh, le barrage du 1er janvier, vous avez indiqué que euh, au, sein, il y avait, au sein de votre unité, je pense, il y avait une équipe qui était en charge de donner de l'eau euh, aux travailleurs. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris votre déposition The unit chief assigned one worker to carry the water for the workers to drink. So the, the person would fetch the water and left it somewhere near our work site and the workers would go there and drink the water from that one same place. And not everyone was allowed to go here or there to go and find water to drink because the water source was rather far from the work site. Vous avez également évoqué des annonces qui étaient faites par aux parleurs sur le site du 1er janvier et vous avez également évoqué l'utilisation à certains moments d'explosifs pour casser la roche. Ma question est la suivante. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez au moment où il devait y avoir l'utilisation d'explosifs qu'il y avait des messages de sécurité diffusés par, par, par aux parleurs pour prévenir les travailleurs disseminated over the loudspeaker to warn workers. Yeah, 
When they use explosives to break rocks, workers were not allowed to go nearby the area, and there were guards who would prohibit the workers from going there in order to avoid risk of being hit by the broken segments of the rock. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez s'il y avait d'autres types d'annonces effectuées par ces haut-parleurs Par exemple, des annonces effectuées par les médecins sur des précautions à prendre. Chasing people away from the area. Je les ai simplement vus chasser les gens de cet endroit. Chasser les gens de, de quel endroit Je n'ai pas compris. Chasing people away from which area I didn't understand. From the area that they use explosives to break rocks. Ils chassaient les gens de l'endroit où des explosifs étaient employés pour briser la roche. They chased the people away from the vicinity in order to avoid any risk of being hit by the rock. And once the explosive was used, then the workers could resume their normal work. Une fois que les explosifs avaient été utilisés, les ouvriers pouvaient reprendre leur travail. Vous avez évoqué les repas pris dans un réfectoire meals eaten et in the je voulais savoir refectory. si au sein de votre unité il n'arrivait pas qu'il y ait like euh, une cuisine mobile unit. qui s'installe directement sur le chantier. Je vous pose cette question parce que en évoquant son unité à lui, le témoin euh, dont je vous ai parlé tout à l'heure, Oao, oh, oh, a a indiqué et c'était le 20 mai 2015, en, un petit peu après 10h35, qu'il y avait une cuisine de fortune qui pouvait être installée sur le chantier, tandis que certains vivres étaient apportés au réfectoire. Est-ce que cela se passait comme ça aussi au sein de votre unité Yes, indeed. Effectivement. If we did not uh, build any kitchen, then how could those many workers uh, si go to, to eat cuisine, the meal? On Actually, on they built a kitchen in order to store the cooking utensils as well as the uh, food les and rice and supplies. Alors, je précise que euh, like ma question avait trait à une cuisine qui aurait été directement sur le site, pas à côté du réfectoire, mais directement sur le site de travail. Side, not, uh, in, uh, voilà ce que dit euh, le um, témoin Ao oh, oh, donc oh, là c'est à 10h37 à l'audience du 20 mai 2015. Il dit lorsque les vivres arrivaient, nous organisions cette cuisine improvisée. Certaines personnes étaient assignées et devaient travailler dans la cuisine improvisée. Elles devaient également s'occuper d'apporter l'eau. Fin de citation. Ma question est de savoir est-ce qu'il y avait des gens qui s'occupaient d'une cuisine improvisée pour votre unité en plus d'apporter l'eau beyond just uh, bringing water. It was the mobile unit chief who made uh, that arrangement. arrangement. The chief would uh, assign this worker or that worker, and sometimes it was made uh, to work Parfois, in the kitchen or to go and fetch water. Ce même témoin a And évoqué qu'au sein de son unité, il y avait unit, des rotations de personnes. Et vous, il me semble que And vous avez indiqué qu'au sein de votre unité, il n'y a jamais eu de rotation. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris
would be the responsibility of the unit's chief, and I was not a unit's chief, so I did not know about that. I was given full ration at the end of the work day, and I just ate it, and yes, uh, there was a kitchen for our unit, there was a big water jar, and there was a small uh, storage for food supply, including rice. I was simply a member of the uh, group, and my focus was to, uh, to finish my work quota and to return to earn my daily meal. Oui, alors là, je pense que well, on s'est mal compris, parce que là, je ne parlais plus de la cuisine, là, je parlais de la rotation no des travailleurs sur le barrage du 1er janvier. Le témoin AOO a expliqué que lui, au sein de son unité, tout le monde n'est pas resté travailler euh, plusieurs mois d'affilée forcément sur le site, mais qu'il y a eu des rotations au sein de son unité. Ma question était de confirmer avec vous qu'au sein de votre unité, ça n'a pas été le cas et que tout le monde a bien travaillé tout le temps. C'est ce que j'ai cru comprendre de votre déposition et qu'il n'y a jamais eu de rotation au sein de votre unité à vous. Answer. The unit chief would assign one particular individual to work in the kitchen and another individual to work in, a, in other fields. And I do not know about people in other villages. President, Madame Witness, the question is as follows. Witness, our host stated that in his unit there was a rotation of workers. And he stated that uh, some uh, villages, uh, some villagers, uh, came to replace uh, workers at the work site. And the uh, council would like to know whether in your unit the same thing happened. This, this is the question by uh, the council. Uh, council would like to know about the rotation of workers, whether or not uh, some Donc, workers from the village replaced the workers at the work site. So does this happen in your unit? Witness. No, it did not non. happen in my village. Non, cela pas I, as village. I said, I was a part of the uh, special mobile unit. I did not know what happened in his uh, unit. For me, I was assigned with uh, my uh, group uh, to work in Barai and to work in different places. And uh, normally, the cook uh, would uh, go with us. Des différentes questions que euh, je viens de vous poser Among avec l'aide de M. le Président, il ressort que les unités pouvaient avoir des fonctionnements différents. Ma question est donc la suivante. So lorsque, je ne sais plus si c'est hier, je crois que c'est hier, oui. Euh, vers 15h20, vous avez indiqué euh, à M. le coprocureur qu'il y avait des cages pour chaque commune. Ma question est de savoir comment est-ce que vous savez qu'il y avait des cages en cas de punition pour les travailleurs dans chaque commune alors que euh, vous ne savez pas forcément ce qui se passait, même dans les autres unités. Est-ce que vous pouvez expliquer sur quel fondement vous dites qu'il y avait des cages pour chaque commune, si on a bien compris votre déposition Yes, when I went to relieve myself, I noticed cages. I have no idea about the cages used for other communes. I did not have uh, freedom to walk around and see what happened in other communes. We had to go to relieve ourselves in a far place. I 
could notice that there were cages, and I have no idea who brought uh, people into cages. President, uh, I noticed you are on your feet. You may not have a seat. Go plastic shooter. Yes, uh, just for the purposes of the record, I think that in her written record of interview as well as in yesterday's hearing, they, she was speaking about one cage per village. She was speaking about one cage per commune. So these are two different things. So I think uh, that uh, the record should be set straight. Uh, it, unless uh, yesterday's transcript reveals the contrary, but this is what I remember, and this is also what is indicated in her written record of interview. Je confirme que j'ai lu uh, verbatim le transcript uh, du PV d'édition hier. Il y a marqué pour chaque commune, donc je vais clarifier. Est-ce que vous pouvez préciser, Madame le témoin, si vous avez indiqué qu'il y avait if uh, you told us une cage that there was one par village, cage per village une cage par or commune. one cage per commune. Answer. For my village, there, there was a cage. There was a cage for my village. I know only the fact that there was a one cage for my uh, village. So the cage was used to de deter uh, those people who were lazy. Et donc ma question va être de so savoir, est-ce que vous savez s'il y avait des cages pour les autres villages you know Parce que nous, dans la traduction que nous avons eue, nous avons eu du pluriel. On avait l'impression que vous parliez de plusieurs cages. Je parle de mon village. As I said, I never walked around. Donc, I have no idea about jamais, other villages. Je vous remercie de cette précision. Thank you for this clarification. Vous avez indiqué également you que euh, said, um, vous n'étiez pas resté jusqu'à la fin des travaux du barrage du 1er janvier euh, sur le site parce que euh, vous êtes tombé malade et que vous avez été évacué par tracteur dans votre village. Est-ce que c'est bien exact Est-ce que j'ai bien compris village. votre déposition Je cite... Well, Peut-être pour plus de précision, le PV d'audience d'hier, uh, vous avez dit, un petit peu avant 14h26, lorsque je suis tombé malade, on m'a envoyé pour être traité au village. Ma question est la suivante. Qui a décidé de vous envoyer, de vous renvoyer au village pour être traité Et qu'est-ce que vous entendez par être traité Yeah. It was not during the time I was working at the first January dam. I was uh, referring to the time that I was working at the sixth uh, January dam. I got a sprang call uh, on the, my back. I could not walk. I slipped uh, off uh, the uphill. I uh, did not have serious illness. Je pas une As I grave. stated earlier, I was referring to the time that I was working at the 6th uh, January dam. I uh, made a request that I uh, could go back home and I was allowed. My request was granted. I went uh, back to my house and my mother used uh, uh, traditional medicines to treat uh, my spring cold. Je vous remercie de ces précisions. Thank Je n'ai plus d'autres questions, Monsieur le Président. Mon confrère Mr. aura quelques questions supplémentaires, mais je pense que vous aurez peut-être sans qu'il continue après la pause. Thank you. It is not convenient time for a short break. And uh, the Chamber will take the break uh, 
from now until 3 o'clock. Court officers, please facilitate a proper room for this witness and the support staff of TBO, and please invite them into the courtroom at 3 p.m. The court is now in recess.